Hey y'all, it's your girl Suzette with Crafting with Susie coming to you today with a new unboxing from Diamond Art Club. But before I get into all of that, if you're new to my channel and you like what you see, please hit the like button. Don't forget to comment and subscribe and also hit the notification bell so you get notified of when I do my next upload here on YouTube. And if you've been back to see me several times, thank you so much for your support. I love reading your words of encouragement. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Alrighty guys, so today we are unboxing Athena, Athena. So this is a round diamond painting by Willowing Arts. I like Willowing Arts. I have several of her diamond paintings. So I like this um, artist. I'm gonna have to tell you a real quick story. Well, you know what, before I do that, let me just do the tour of the box really quickly. This is the nice pink magenta, my favorite round. On the side, there's a scan me to get a discount off 10% of a diamond painting. Also on the back, you have your contents of what's inside of the box, what's inside of your kit, and then some easy instructions here. You also wanna make sure that you check out their VIP page on Facebook and also their um, Diamond Painting app for Diamond Art Club. I have it on my phone, I use it all of the time. Um, so they did a huge sale. Athena was one of them. This was a few weeks ago. So I'm like really behind on opening my diamond paintings, but um, they had a huge sale. And one of the diamond paintings that they had on sale was this huge square. And I was like, I'm getting it, I'm getting it, I'm getting it. I tried to get Miranda to talk me out of it. I was like, I'm gonna get it. And I tried to get Rachel to talk me out of it. I was like, I'm gonna get it. I didn't get it. I ended up getting Athena. I had to like literally come back to reality that that diamond painting was way too big for me. It was a square. It would have been a complete debacle. I would have never touched it. So I really like had to reconsider what I was trying to do. So I got Athena. I do have, I believe, Sleeping Beauty also. And I have an elephant one. I have several of Willowing Arts diamond paintings. So I'm happy with what I got. So we have the dust bag, the infamous dust bag, Diamond Art Club, Do What Makes You Sparkle. And of course, this is not too bad. This is a nice size. Did I tell you what size it was? This is a 51 centimeter by 66 centimeter. That's not bad at all. It did come with the standard tool kit, but honestly, the only difference between this one and the newer ones, as far as the rounds are concerned, is you get the Oh my gosh, you get the cover minder and you get um, a roll of washi tape. The tray is different too, but basically all the tools are the same. So you do get the Ziploc baggies if you choose to kit up that way. You do get two um, heart-shaped plates of wax. There are two in there. You do get a four placer. I think in the new kit you get a four and a seven. You get the individual placer, which is the diamond painting pen, and then you get your standard boat tray. So this is the sticker for Athena. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. And I have, of course, this is kind of an older painting, not too, too old, but it's kind of an older painting. So I have seen it done and completed on Instagram and things like that, and it's beautiful. So we just take this out of this dust bag. Yes. We all know that Diamond Art Club has like one of the most fantastic canvases out there. Well, if you like the soft canvas, I do. I like it. Okay, inside here is oh, the schematic. Look at that face. 
So you have the name of the painting, you have the artist, you have their start and end date, you have your measurements and things here. Then you have all your perforated. These are perforated, which means they'll peel right off for you. You can put them on your bags. You can put them on your storage container. <coughs> I'm sorry. I'm doing multiple videos today and I'm starting to feel it. Ooh, that's better okay so you can take these off and use them on your little storage ziploc bags or your storage containers sometimes i use them sometimes i don't it all depends but this has 43 colors oh this one just has two ab's and 43 colors isn't bad but she's gorgeous she's gorgeous you also have your thank you letter and it does give you step-by-step -step instructions for dye and painting. So here's your thank you letter, your instructions, and then a thank you coupon code for 10% off. Diamond Art Club, you don't normally need to pay a um, regular price. There's always discount codes. There are a lot of YouTubers and Instagram Instagrammers that um, are affiliates. And if it's your first time purchasing, normally there is a coupon code. I'll make sure to put that in my description box so you can check that out also. And they usually have sales on their website also. They're really good about making sure that they give you every opportunity to get a discount. If you've ordered from them before, the little package label inside of your box, you get an additional, I think, 10 to 15% off, if I'm not mistaken. So make sure you check um, on that. These are the drills, very neutral, fall, very neutral and fall colors. I like these colors. Fall is my favorite season. And one of the reasons besides my birthday is in the fall are the changing colors of the leaves on the trees. Beautiful. So I'm just gonna roll this backwards really quickly. So you guys can see it lay flat. Here she is. You know what? She's a really nice size. Let me move this out the way. She really is a nice size. Her face is absolutely amazing. Let me see. Look at her face, guys. Is she not gorgeous? And then her owl. Oh man, she's beautiful. So Diamond um, Art Club, you know, they have their special canvas that they use um, where the canvas will lay out flat within a few minutes. You don't have to put anything heavy on top of it. It is pour glue. So if you see any wrinkles in the plastic, you won't have wrinkles actually in your canvas or in your paintings. It's only in the plastic. They're very good about laying out the glue and make sure it's even and it's sticky all over. So I'm not gonna lift up the plastic to test it. Um, I am gonna give you a tour of the canvas really quickly. Down here on the bottom left is the thumbnail. And then of course, Diamond Art Club, the name of the painting, the artist and the size. In the middle here, there is the social media information. Don't forget to check out their VIP page on Facebook. And then over here on the far right, there is a lifetime guarantee. You want to make sure you go to their website for that information. At the top is their logo, Do What Makes You Sparkle. And in the top left, you have one schematic and you have another schematic on the bottom right. Um, the AB drills are listed as one and two. Number two is white. Number DMC code 141. I really like this. And it's a mixture of letters, numbers, and symbols for the schematic. All right, so I am gonna show you guys the drills. I am gonna let you guys see that. The drill feel looks very clear to me. So um, even without the light pad, it looks really good. All right, I'm gonna turn her over really quickly. So you guys can see the drills. I always do a time lapse. I'll make sure that the DMC code is facing the camera. If you want to pause the video, you can do so.
guys, so the first AD we have is this pretty like tangerine orange color. And that's DMC 133. And that's really just basically down here at the bottom. Yeah, it's just right here. And then there's just this, okay, I see a little bit more. So it's just in this area on this side. It's not anywhere else. Oh, and her flower, just on this one little petal here. It's not that many. And then the white AD, it's not that many of those either. And um, AD, I'm sorry, I didn't explain. That's the Royal Borealis. They have the extra coating on the top of the drills to give it more of an iridescent look. And that's literally just spread and sprinkled throughout the background in the green all the way around. And there's a few little small ones in here and then in her eyes. So those are the ABs. Um, the one thing I noticed when I was doing the drill is, I don't know if y'all wanna agree with me, but when you have all those tiny little bags and it only has a little bit in them, to me that says confetti. So when I was looking here, her hair, woo child, the owl, the owl. And then all in here up here at the top and on the side, that's her hair over there, is confetti. It's quite a bit. It's quite a bit. <laughs> um, the color blocking, where I'm only really seeing it is primarily in her face and then here where the green is but literally it's confetti. Uh, the confetti doesn't bother me until it gets, you know, like, I hope you guys could see where I was pointing all that time. Um, the confetti doesn't really bother me until you get to the point where it's like 15, 20 colors. It's like, woo, and you're constantly having to switch out. But this just looks like, I don't know, the owl, he may look like five, possibly six in the heavier areas, but her hair, her hair, and then all at the top here, that's all confetti. It's just her face, her hand, her chest, and this green here, that's color blocking. So we're gonna be busy. But you guys let me know what you think of her. I think she's absolutely beautiful. Now, am I crazy? I need to know really quickly because who I think it is, is, I'm not sure. So I don't want to cheat y'all. Is she Medusa's mother? <laughs> I'm going to look real fast. So I had to go online and look and I'm confused still. But y'all need to let me know. So it doesn't seem, okay, she was the goddess of war. But she was also the one who cursed Medusa. Y'all know the whole thing of what happened with Medusa. If y'all don't know, Google it. It's very interesting. Sorry, that's Samaya. But yes, Athena was the one who cursed her because she felt like what happened to her happened to her because of her beauty. So that's what made her change her into the monster that we know of today. But what I did find interesting, and the reason why I said was she Medusa's mother, is because I thought Medusa's mother cursed her, but I guess it was Athena. I'm going so left in this video, but you have to just read about it. It's very interesting. So from what I understand, correct me if I'm wrong, Athena is the goddess that cursed Medusa, but she was also the goddess of war. So if you all stay to the end, <laughs> please leave me an owl emoji or a shield emoji. Thank you guys so much for watching. Remember to stay beautiful and to stay blessed. Bye.